So today we're doing a quick video on one of these really dirt cheap uh, multimeters that you get off Banggood. And this is like the cheapest one I could really find. Um, I'll show you the Banggood website. I'll put that over the screen now um, while I unpack this box. That's it. So this multimeter here comes with a set of leads and a little mini Ziploc bag. Comes with a meter itself and a single page set of instructions there. I'm not going to do a full review, a tear down and the whole deal on this thing. Um, what today's video is going to be is about the accuracy because I think it should be pretty clear by now that these things just aren't safe to use at mains voltage. Um, we're talking, you know, hundreds of volts AC. So this says, you know, 1000 volt, 750 volt maximum, all this sort of stuff. Um, but there's no way I'd be, um, you know, gambling my life with this thing plugged into mains power. So first, let's just get out of its um, plastic wrap. Discard that. And this is what we've got. Now, no batteries by the looks of it. So we'll have to put some batteries in this. Uh, it looks like a 9 volt battery. Uh, so let me just undo this. There you go. That's all she wrote. Little glass fuse. Current shunt here. Beeper. PTO beeper. Chip under a blob of epoxy there. So really dirt cheap. Uh, let's put a battery in this thing. Okay. Just a standard alkaline there. And we'll put the cover back on. Okay, and we've got a little lead here, which a very lightweight and very cheaply made. And they uh, looks like that's all they're going to plug in. They're going to go all the way in, which is a little bit a little bit strange. Yeah, that's it. So that's a bit strange, but there you go. But we do have a display. So today we're going to be testing this multimeter, the accuracy of the, the measurements, with this DMM Check Plus. And this is from voltagestandard.com. This is pretty good because it does AC and DC voltage and current. It does frequency and some precision resistance here as well. So we can test most of these functions with this one device. Um, I can also uh, test with this. This has got five uh, custom DC ranges um, that I've specified when I ordered this and um, we can plug into this and, and test that as well. What I might do though is I might actually get rid of these leads and use something a little bit more convenient. I've got some leads with some alligator clips so I'll swap those over now and then we'll, we'll plug this in and, and do some testing. You can see the leads I'm going to test with are just like banana leads like this and they've got some um, these little alligator clips on the end. So we can plug those directly into this meter like this so this thing doesn't actually have a kickstand I'm just going to lean it up against this box there just so we get a view of the um, screen on camera and I'll uh, zoom us in just a little bit there and we can just plug these leads straight onto the test points here this is on the voltage test points uh, we're on DC now what I expect is this to be fairly accurate it's not that hard to make a simple no bells and whistles accurate meter. What's difficult is to um, meet all the safety requirements, specifically in different regions and things. Uh, and that's where they can cut costs, put a crappy little uh, chipset in there that, that does quite well for measurements. Um, as we'll probably find, them. it might be a little bit out, but we'll see. Um, but safety is where these things really fail. But let's have a look at this. So I put on the 20... Uh, volt DC range this puts out five volts five volts exactly so, so there it is you can't really complain about that as far as accuracy goes now if we switch this to AC so it'll just zero out um, voltage okay it's 200 volt range so 5.1 not bad and let's have a look at our current. I'm going to have to switch this across, I think. So if I go um, over here. Um, no, 
I think. Oh, sorry, in the wrong range here. It's not picking up any current there at all. Oh, of course not. It's uh, it only measures DC current, and I've still got to switch on AC, so click to DC. There we go. It should be one milliamp, so we're uh, five digits off. So that's actually pretty close. That's uh, not bad at all. Let's go down the range. When you get up in that range, it's it's just just one point oh oh. So that's actually really good. So let's do frequency, and the frequency will be the AC um, voltage ripple. So I'll just quickly switch this off. I'll switch to AC and I'll um, switch across. Now with a fluke, I'll just click it around and not really care. Uh, but I'm scared to break this thing, so I'll just switch everything off before I flick it over. Put it on frequency and we'll switch that back on. Yeah, it's having some trouble with that. It's freaking out a little bit. So that's a bit of a fail. Just to give us an idea of what it should be reading, I'll um, unplug that. I'll put my ProTech in here. And um, flick that over to frequency. 100 hertz, exactly, as you can see there. Uh, so ProTech has no problems with that. This is actually a really good meter. It's one of my favorite benchtop meters. We'll test some uh, different voltages here now. I'm just putting on 200 millivolt for the first voltage, which is one volt, because um, it's our maximum resolution that we'll be able to get on there. So let's switch that on. And look at that, that's <laughs> that's really good again. It's quite impressive how accurate they can make these things. Now, as soon as I switch to two volts, it'll go out of range. There it goes. So I switch to the 20 volt range. 2.05, which is great, because it's actually 2.048 volts. Now we go three volts exactly. Three volts exactly. 4.096, 4.10, which is, that's great. 10 volt. 10.01 so it's really quite impressive uh, how accurate they can make these things let me just flick that off switch that off so there you have it that was just a really quick video just to see and just to sort of prove how accurate these things can be for practically no money at all so for something to chuck in your toolbox and use with arduino and use with battery powered devices you can't really go wrong i mean there's no bells and whistles no auto ranging frequency had some trouble there um, no kickstand, it's really cheap and chintzy, but for a few bucks, I mean, come on, that's pretty good. Just don't go plug it into your mains power and, and you should be good. Quick reminder that we now have a Patreon page also, so if you'd like to help out there, there's a link in the description below. All these videos that we're doing go out early access to our patrons, um, and every little bit helps. So visit that page if you'd like, otherwise keep watching videos, and I'll see you in the next one, guys.